I love living out in the country, but there's always lots of work to do. Uh, I hate cutting down trees. I always try to avoid it. But uh, out here in the woods, sometimes you'll have two growing up close to each other. And if you don't cut one down, you end up with two trees you have to cut down eventually. So sometimes you have to clear one out so the other one will grow uh, to full maturity. But I always try to avoid it. At least we have a little more wood in the woodshed, if nothing else. <sighs> Back to the garage. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and loosen up these starter bolts. Alright, it's getting pretty empty under here. Just a few more things to unhook, like this slave cylinder and the uh, bracket that attaches to the transmission. We've got uh, this little bolt here that gives some people a hard time. <laughs> it's easy to forget because it's on the back side. And, uh, and this one here, this is these inspection cover, this little inspection cover bolt. Got to get those out of the way and then we'll be ready for the transmission jack. Go ahead and get the starter out of here, um, just to make things a little easier. All right, let's zip this transmission man out of here. Okay, to get the transmission mount out of the way, we'll pop these rubber caps off. Here's the last couple bolts before this transmission comes out. Okay, like I said, I haven't done this in a while, so I'm just like triple checking to make sure I didn't forget any bolts or anything under here. I think we're good. Oh yeah, transmission jack time. Come to Bloodhead. <laughs> Okay, there it is. Whew. Worked up a sweat. I'm definitely out of practice doing that, but uh, we got it out of there. All right, there it is. The W5M33 Mitsubishi all-wheel drive, five-speed manual transmission that's given people so much joy and so much grief at the same time. This one's pretty good in the Gallant, but it is original. 
uh, and it's a little crunchy from time to time. Um, it ships good like 98% of the time, but at other 2%, it's just a little crunchy between a couple gears. So that's why we're going to put our other transmission in there. I'll show you more on that later. All right, we got good track of our hardware so far. Should make um, reassembly much easier. All right, check out the parts pile now. Boom, it's getting serious in here. All right, you guys, now I know it's been a few years since we put this thing in here, and it was all new when we put it in uh, back in the day. I put some miles on it, but man, this thing, I don't know, to me, it's looking kind of rough. Tell me what you all think in the comments. See if you can get a good shot of that. Gotta take this light off of it. I don't know, man. That just doesn't look too good. I mean, I'm not sure if you can make it out, but you can actually see the reflection of the camera in there. <laughs> that seems crazy. It's not like I've been drag racing this thing. All right, let's take a look at this clutch disc and pressure plate. Uh, not terrible. Uh, that kind of matches the flywheel. Lots of heat. I don't know, maybe we were slipping this thing. Looking kind of nasty. Tell me what you guys think about that. Ditch it, clean it off, use it again. I don't know. What do you think? Tell me what I should do. Okay, transmission is completely out of there. All the transmission parts. Time to get working on getting that engine out. All right, the next step in removing the engine now is uh, unplugging all the various, uh, like the throttle cable, all the electrical things so you can get the wiring harness unplugged from the engine. Uh, and then we'll work on the accessory drive and uh, that should free it up pretty good. Also part of this harness is the coil pack and igniter, so you can just unplug the coil pack there. And then the igniter is down there too. There we go. Now it's freed up. Okay, now we can disconnect the throttle position switch. And the... What do you call that thing? <laughs> ICS... IMC... And the idle air control valve. Plug. Pluggy plug. There we go. Okay, a couple temperature sensors to unplug here. We got the oxygen sensor plug. Alright, folks, I think we made pretty good progress this time. Next time, we'll get that hood off 
and hopefully yank that engine out of there. So with that said, thanks again. We'll see you next time.